the process or maybe you scored too much you cannot ask that okay ma'am i like right now i'm here and automatically i'll reach here there will be improvement but it take times right yeah. similarly for the food process also the improvement word is very much clear that we want the growth and food resources what are food resources is basically whatever we are eating right and yeah. the question is then why we are reading this chapter like uh, okay we know that we need food and everything the meat motive behind this chapter is that whatever you are eating right you should make sure that you 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 are eating a healthy food right and yeah. see for example you are right now i am not a farmer i am a teacher right i am teaching you so i am not concerned about who is growing the crop how they are growing the crop whether they are using any medicine or not like this right but at the end of the day i need food and even a good quality food right mm -hmm. so over there that's why we need to study this chapter so that we also we we human being because not everyone is a farmer see right now if i'll ask you that rebecca just tell me uh, rebecca right or rebesa rebecca rebecca okay so rebecca just tell me how will we grow mangoes so you're like ma'am we know that you know we'll dig it and we'll put the seed we will get confused right so that's why yes. this chapter is here so that even the normal people no matter whether you are a doctor no matter whether you are a scientist you should at least know the basics that you know how food resources are being grown right so that you at least care for that that okay you will not waste food and you know that okay this takes longer period of time that to uh, you know grow the crops and everything so you will somewhere take care of that so in case to you know come to that ethics field that okay you should be aware of this that's why this chapter has been introduced in your textbook clear so i hope you got a scope that why this uh, chapter is here why we are studying we don't want to become a farmer why we are studying this everyone is eating food so if you are eating food you should be at least aware from where you are getting the food right so that's why and everyone no matter what everyone wants a good quality food but if you are not focusing on the agriculture sector you won't be able to do that so that's why this chapter is how we can contribute or what are what is the process required to improve the food resources clear yes ma'am okay So now coming to the PPT, the thing is that all organism require food for the survival and the existence, right? So everyone in this entire country, entire world, they require food. Organism is not only about human beings. Everyone, right? Living organism and everything apart from non-living, living organism, all the organism, they are requiring the food for the survival. And if you want to exist, you will need a food, right? But there are only green plant that are autotrophs. Now auto is what is automatic. automatic is when you don't need to do it it will do yes. it by itself yes but are we uh, uh, for example i am eating something is it automatic uh no you have to take the food and put it in your mouth yes so for example over here i am here i just uh, like i just did this uh, miracle and over there food is here so i'm not doing nothing like that right what i am doing yes. i'm dependent on someone dependent on someone it's not like that i'm dependent on my cook i'm dependent on my mother i'm dependent on for example i want to eat uh, maybe uh, some vegetables i want to eat vegetables i just want to have some veggies and all that i'm dependent on the plant right but for example yes. someone who is non vegetarian they want to eat have a non veg dish so they are dependent on that animal right if they want to eat fish they are dependent on fish if they want to eat chicken they are dependent on that right like that so over here yeah. autotrophs so they are dependent on someone else and there is a different word for that we'll discuss that autotrophs autotrophs means that we are not dependent on anyone we are making our own food automatically right so that's only yes. green plant have the green plant which we have like which we have in the you know atmosphere like not atmosphere the biosphere and all that so over there green plant have you ever seen a green plant or dependent on animal the tiger will come and he'll give us some food no what they are doing they are here they are taking energy from the sunlight taking water from the roots making their food and then eating it and circulating it entirely yes yes so everyone require foods and they are basically dependent on someone right on the food resources everyone requires food all the organism and they are like they are dependent on someone else for the food resources but only green plants are autotrophs okay so automatic means crops means they are making their own food automatically right so only green plant in this entire world are autotrophs and others like apart from green plant it can be animal it can be human beings anyone they are dependent on the green plant see for example if you want to eat veggies you are dependent on green plant right yeah. it can be directly or indirectly 
right? For you want to have, for example, you want to have a mixed veg, right? So over there, of course, mixed veg includes green plant as well, and apart from tomatoes, carrots, and all that, right? So you are dependent on plants, green plants, directly or indirectly. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So I hope this one is clear that everyone, why we are eating uh, this food resource because everyone require food for their survival, but there is an exemption. There is the entire world. Green plants are the only one that they are doing the things on their own. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, our country ranks second in the population growth. So, now this is the old data in our books, NCRT. Our country is basically, they are talking about India. Okay. You are from India as well or you are from uh, other country only? I'm from India, ma'am. Okay. Which state? Kerala. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you can also mention our country, right? But instead yeah. of mentioning that our country, you can mention India, right? So, over here now, India is not in the second population because this is basically, right now, the census has not been conducted, right? And your books are not updated. So, in NCRT, you will get this second, second, second everywhere because they are not updated, right? So, basically, yeah. now, according to recent data, India is the top most populated country in the world. Earlier, it was China, but now... I don't know what to say, but now it's India, right? Yeah. So over here, yeah. our country is over there, like uh, comparing and the entire world, our country is the topmost, right? So over here, and it is increasing day by day, right? So that's why yeah. there is a problem. For example, earlier I have four tomatoes, okay? So I have four people who so were eating it. Then suddenly they became eight. Now one tomato, two people are eating. Now there are 800. So resources are limited. Yes, but yeah. how will I manage that? Okay, now 400 people are there. So this is the process. That's why there is a need to improve the food resources, to improve their quality, to improve their status, everything, right? So to yeah. feed a huge population, we require millions of tons of grains. It is necessary to increase the production efficiency of crops and the livestock, right? So yeah. that's why. Now from this entire introduction, of course, CBSC can form a question. question. They can, of course, they will not ask you that whether all the organism need food or not because you are right now in ninth class. They'll be framing a question like this, that uh, why we are studying this chapter? What is the context of this chapter? Why there is a requirement to improve the quality of, like improve the food resources? Why the improvement of food resources is needed? So how will you start it? What do you think? How will you start it? Uh, improvement of food is necessary for us. Mm -hmm. and and uh, as we need to have a mindset on each food uh, uh, of which is good for us and which is not good for us. Yes. Uh, yes. Could... Mm -hmm. No, yeah. yeah. You can continue. I'll, I, I'll add it later on. Just tell me any other point. Uh, that all living organisms is necessary, uh, needs food as it's necessary mm -hmm. for, their life, uh, for their life and existence. Yes. So you will put this word. For example, I'm asking you why you are studying bio. So your mindset is very clear. I want to score well. I want to do this in my future. So that's why I'm studying bio, right? Similarly, yeah. why you're studying this chapter or why improvement in food resources is important? First, see, everyone needs food. So of course, this topic is very important now. For example, only few people needed food. So it's not important, but everyone needs food except few green plants, right? And even yeah. we need, to, so that's why the chapter is important and that's why the improvement of food resources is important. Plus, our population is growing too much. So we need to change our mindset that instead of focusing on other sector, we need, because at the end of the day, no matter whether you are an engineer, whether you are an IS officer, whether you are a prime minister or the president, you need food, right? So it's not yeah. like if you are a PM, so you don't need any food, you need food. So that's why according to the increasing population, we should see the balance, whether we have the sufficient resources with us. So that's why we should focus on the production and the efficiency of crops and livestock. I hope this is clear. Yes, yes? ma'am. Okay. So from this, what you will write, first you will write the chapter name, chapter improvement of food resources. Then you will put a heading, why improvement of food resources is important. Okay. Then you will, the first point will be this. All organisms require food for the survival and existence, right? Only green plants and autotrophs and other animals dependent on green plant directly and indirectly. Clear? Uh, sorry, our autotrophs and others are dependent on this. And over here, you will write this, that uh, India's population is increasing day by day, right? To feed such a huge population, you don't need to write the second or first because in your books, 
the data is different. In actual data, the data is different. So it will be a mismatch, right? So that's why uh, the thing is that you will write that the population of India is increasing day by day. And to feed such a huge popula uh, population, we require millions tons of grains, right? So that's why it is necessary to increase the production or efficiency of the crops and livestock, okay? Okay. So one question we are getting from here. So if anyone will ask you or they can ask you this, why it is necessary to increase the production efficiency of crops and livestock? They can ask you like this as well. So you can form the questions. Answer will be same from the PPT only, right? From your book only. But the thing how they are asking. So in case if they ask you like this, why it is necessary to increase the production and efficiency? So you will be like, oh, ma'am taught me that how, why improvement of food resources is important. This is a different question. Ma'am never taught me this. They can ask you anything. Just be open-minded. That okay, they are asking me this. How can I relate this to my topic which I learned in the class? Right? And write it down. Whatever you are feeling, write it down. Whatever your mind is saying that okay. Because in general, there like there are few questions that for that the answer is needed to be this. But here, maybe there are some other students who are writing different points. So that doesn't mean they are wrong. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just giving you two minutes. You can quickly write it down. Okay.
Now I'm done. Okay. Now coming to the next part. Okay. Now over here, improvement of crop yield. Right. So before and studying about improvement, how we can improve, we should at least know that what are the different types of crop. Right. Because right now we are eating different types of crop and we are not aware what is this. Right. So over yeah. here, let us start. before starting, before going to in deep, because when you will be a doctor, right? So over there, you should at least be aware of the body parts, right? So similarly, yeah. because you are studying this chapter, so let's just start. So cereals are basically rice, wheat, maize, millets, sorghum, etc. They are basically the cereals. So they comes in the category of this, right? And what they are doing, they are providing you the carbohydrate, okay? Then yeah. pulses. Like lentils, grams, peas, beans, etc. They are providing us the protein. Okay. Then some okay. oil seeds are there. Like sea sam, mustard, lion seed, groundnut, sunflower, etc. And they are providing us the fats. Right. And then yeah. vegetable and fruits, you know, mango, apple, ladyfinger and all that. So they are providing on vitamins and minerals. Spices, black pepper, cardamom, fennel, cinnamon, cloves, etc. So they are basically the taste. What they are doing, they are bringing the taste in our food, right? So you have that add taste kaha hai. So it's basically here, right? Yeah. So it's because of them only. Then the fodder crops like the oats, Sudan grains, sorghum, etc. So they are the fodder crops, okay? So these are basically the categories where you have to put. So right now, whenever we visit a doctor, they are like eat pulses, have oil seeds because most of the time we are eating rice and vegetables like that. So you need to maintain the balanced diet and balanced diet, we have everything. So carbohydrate, they ask us to take carbohydrate, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins like that. So if you are not aware from which food you will get your vitamins, from which food you will get your uh, protein, right? So that's why to okay. understand the entire structure, you should at least know that what are the types of crops. Okay. So these are the types of crops. You will quickly write it down. You can write any one or two examples. It's enough. Okay. Because you are not in first or second class where they will ask you that gram, whether they are pulses or whether they are millets. They will not ask you that. But yeah, what you should remember, for example, pulses, what they are giving, they are giving you proteins, oil seeds. They are usually giving you fats like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And one more thing, so over, for example, pulses. So if you want to grow pulses, you, you require different climatic condition and the duration and the temperature will be different. If you want... So sorry. It's okay. I just lost the networks. Okay. So now, uh, yeah, one more thing I was telling you. I was telling you this. Hmm. I was telling you this. For example, you want to grow pulses. You want to grow vegetables. So different crops, different type of crop, they require different climatic condition and the temperature and the, there is a different duration. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you'll quickly write down types of crops, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then a point you will write that they require different, everything should be different. Okay? Okay.
I'm done. Okay. Okay. So that's it for today, uh, today Rebisa.